Okay, and welcome to 2018. This video is the beginning of a series for my shell script tutorials in 2018. I've done many shell scripts in the past over the years, but this is the series I'm doing in 2018. We're going to learn a lot this year. Be sure to check out the full playlist in the link in the description or at the end of this video. Again, this will be the first. I'll be releasing a bunch over the coming weeks. So let's go ahead and quickly jump into the shell. If you've used the shell at all, well, something that's very useful are man pages, manual pages. And so you can type in man and the uh, command you want to know about. So in this case, like ls is for listing directories, you can hit man ls, and then you can go through here and look at all your options for that program. Q to get out of that. Uh, you can also do something like make dir, and it will give you the instructions, the manuals for that. Uh, or something like bc, which has a very long man page with a lot of stuff in here. Um, and I always say a good man page will always have examples, but sadly, a lot of man pages don't have any examples on how the commands work. So how can you find commands? Of course, you can go and Google this command and see some examples, but there's actually a website right here called cheat.sh. And it's very simple to use up here at the top. You can click this little box up here and type in the command or click the drop down to see a full list. And you can see they have lots of commands. Uh, in here already with some cheat sheets. So in here, I can type in ls and hit enter. And it'll give us some very quick examples on the ls command that you can play with. Or we can go uh, make dir, and you can see some examples of that. Or bc. And if you were to type in part of a command, so let's say I type in dir, it's going to say, oh, did you mean dirs, make dir, remove dir? And you go, oh, yeah, 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 I wanted uh, remove dir and it will give you some examples on that. Uh, and you can even do things like sed, and it will give you some examples on sed or awk. Lots of just a few examples that you can copy and paste. But again, we're doing this in the web browser. We're working in the shell. Maybe we don't have a web browser. Not a problem. Of course, if you look right here, it tells you exactly what the command is. And if we go back to our home directory on this website, you can see it tells you right here, show, the, show a cheat sheet. I do uh, curl the website and forward slash command. And it's going to output so in here, I can say, um, curl cheat.sh forward slash ls and it gives us the same examples or make dir or sed or even awk and you can of course copy and paste these examples so here this last example in awk is uh, an output separator for characters so let's say we had this input of one two three with spaces well we can say well let's in between each one of those numbers I need a semicolon that's exactly what this command does here we can do that. So very quick and easy to see commands, some examples for them. Examples are great. It's going to save you some Googling. And you know, man pages are great to get the details. But if you just want to see how a program works, it's nice to have a command you can copy and paste and go, oh, OK, I got an idea on how this works. Instead of trying to go, oh, OK. So I say semicolon begin and then OFS and then uh, you know, it's easy to have an example right there. And this is a quick and easy way to do it. You can look at it in the web browser, you know, on your phone or your desktop. But again, you can do the same exact thing in your shell without leaving it. You can use curl, or though I'm sure uh, that if we were to use wget with um, dash q for quiet and capital O dash for standard output, we get the same thing. Let's clear the screen to make that a little cleaner. There we go. So you can use wget if that's all you got. Uh, it's one of those things. Uh, I love curl. I think it's a little more advanced than wget, but wget's on pretty much every Linux system. Even if you're working on a router or something, it's just there because it's built into things like BusyBox. So it's nice to know how to both work. So there you go. I do thank you for watching. Again, this is part of a series. I hope that you stick around for us and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the rest of the series. Um, if you're waiting for more videos come out in the series, I still I have hundreds of shell script tutorials. Just check out my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description. There you can search through all my videos from this channel and my other channel. If you enjoy my videos, definitely think about becoming a supporter over at patreon.com uh, forward slash melex1000. Or if you go to the support section on my website, you can also support me through PayPal. I do thank you for watching. Uh, and I hope you like, share, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, because it really does help. I appreciate it, and I hope that you have a great day.